Hey guys, it is Saturday. I didn't really want to make a video today because the weather is crap, but a lot of activity going on. Biden has cut short his trip to Delaware. He is on Marine One back to Andrews, it looks like. There's just too much bad weather. I don't have credentials into the White House, but I can show you what's going on outside. Let's go. So Marine One is already airborne out of Rehoboth, Delaware. Um, we just got a ramp freeze call at Andrews, which would likely indicate Marine One is coming back to Andrews and not coming to the White House. Uh, there is very heavy winds in Washington, D.C. Gusts up to like 50 miles an hour. There's already been some pretty bad gusts. Uh, National Airport has had some flights go around. Uh, they've had some delays. So I guess he's going to go into Andrews and then probably motorcade back to the White House. Uh, we'll get a picture of that. Um, there'll be some interest in a photo like that today, given what's going on in Iran. There's been reports that drones are already in the air in an attack on Israel. Uh, from Iran. So let's get downtown. Now, Iran does not have an embassy in Washington. They have an interest section in the Swiss embassy, which means Swiss diplomats represent them. But over here on the left, that is the former Iranian embassy and the former Iranian ambassador's house. Both of those places are now basically controlled by the State Department, since uh, we don't really have diplomatic relations with Iran anymore after they took our embassy hostage in 1979. Okay, we just got the official announcement. He is coming to Andrews, and it will be a motorcade back to the White House. There are signs of preparation out here, but also over at the Willard, it looks like the uh, Prime Minister of Iraq, who is also landing at Andrews right now, uh, he will be staying at the Willard Hotel. You can see some massive security set up here at the Willard. This is standard for a high-profile foreign dignitary. Uh, they don't want anything to go wrong with his visit. Let's get set up for the motorcade. Second black with flags. Second black. Okay, guys, we are down on Pennsylvania Avenue, which is closed right now for some construction. It's kind of interesting. Looks like they're digging a hole in Pennsylvania Avenue. A lot of tourists out today. We just had two motorcades, POTUS's motorcade and then uh, Iraq Prime Minister's motorcade. Led to a bit of a pedestrian jam. We we're basically closed for like 20 minutes. Nobody could get by. Now they've all sort of poured out. Uh, we're cutting over to the other side, meeting a friend because uh, we have a large number of national security uh, vehicles on the other side. Go we'll take a look over there, see who's who's at the White House right now. This is the park. Oh, get a phone call. And let's take a look at this construction. Yeah. I'm not sure what this is all about. We're ripping up the street. They got a couple holes they've dug. 
The manhole cover's been ripped out. Looks like they're fixing something. They got a long rope down there. Who is this? Uh, Capitol Paving. Yeah, we've seen these guys do a lot of other stuff. They're the ones that did the bricks on uh, Capitol Hill that all you guys were asking about. Okay, let's swing around. My partner is uh, on the other side. We're going to go see what we can see down there. So Blair House has an American flag on it again, meaning the Japanese prime minister has left. He's, uh, he went to North Carolina the other day. Let's get around these tours. Lots of parked cars today. Thank you. That's fine. Thank you. Still got the Japanese flags up on it. EEOB though. No, oh, fence alarm, squirrel, or trees, or wind. That's, uh... All right, let's come down here. Oh, interesting. They're not parked out here. Usually we have a slew of vehicles out here. Today, not so much. Um, did not get credentialed into the White House today. And it's unlikely he's going to make like a statement or something. And I'll be out of luck. It'll be pool only, probably. The pool was probably looking forward to a chill day and they all got called back in. I'm sure, they're not happy about that. Ugh. Okay, look at that. There are no vehicles here at all. They must have sent all the all the black cars are in on West Executive. That's interesting. Usually we can get a good view of them all. Uh, let's cut over. This is the old Corcoran Art Gallery. It's now part of George Washington University. I believe it's like their arts program. I think their photojournalists are here too in this building. It's a beautiful old building, eh? Okay, so Biden cut his trip short. He's back in the White House. He's going to give a speech tonight. Interesting note, uh, he took the Beast back from Andrews Air Force Base, which is a little bit rare on OTR airport motorcades. Usually it takes a Suburban with dark windows. Uh, today he took the Beast and he was seen by a lot of people. Um, wonder if that was intentional. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to go have dinner and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.